What does it take to operate and maintain the Singapore Navy's latest submarines? Thanks to the new Invincible Class Submarine Training Center, submariners get to prepare on land first. It offers realistic simulations of situations underwater and has features similar on the actual vessels. Aslam Shah heads to Changi Naval Base for more. The newly commissioned Invincible Class submarines. For the crew on the RSS Invincible and RSS Impeccable, it means spending long periods of time underwater and in tight spaces. But this training centre ensures they are ready. Alarm condition, alarm condition. Alarm condition. For instance, from outside, this may look like a roller coaster simulator. But inside, the crew are exposed to conditions similar to those deep underwater. Okay, while underwater, submarines experience forces from different directions and this simulator gives them a realistic experience. For example, now the submarine is moving upwards and I'm able to lean about 45 degrees while still maintaining my balance. It took this operator nine months of intensive training, switching from surface to underwater platform to operate a submarine. We are trained to listen to the different vessels on board the submarine so that we can identify their type and their direction in order to navigate safely through the waters. Engineers need to make sure it's all systems go all the time. Sometimes they have to do so in tight spots and awkward positions. So what we do, we move the slide all the way to the aft from one to the other end to do the vacuum things. In just 10 minutes, I'm already finding it challenging. They sometimes have to stay focused for hours. Just imagine uh, if uh, any systems were to fail, it will affect our navigation, our ability to surface and dive. So this is what yeah, we have to do. Imagine um, a submarine stuck in the depths of the ocean, unable to surface. This is catastrophic. Here, the crew conducts simulated missions that prepare them to deal with threats. They use sonar to detect and identify a target, its distance and the speed it is moving at. The two submarines are now fully operational. Two others currently in Germany are expected to return to Singapore by 2028.